20 years ago it was said that if your business wasn't on the internet, uh, you were invisible. Now everybody has a website. Social media seems to be the uh, up and coming thing. And in order to uh, tell us about the uh, intricacies of uh, face ache and twaddle, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce a colleague of mine, Julian Farrar from the Textile Services Association. Julian. <laughs> about social media. But let's start with the bigger picture. Social networking is about a community with shared or common interests. Social media is the online toolbox to achieve social networking. Social media is user-generated content, so it comes from profiles and discussions. The one thing I'd like you to take away from today about social media is that you cannot control the quality, the reach, the frequency, and the permanence of social media. And that's something key to remember. So we're going to start with a short video. Um, please do excuse the year and the US-centric focus, but understand that the facts in it are, are true and they're getting stronger and truer every day. Vine and Skype, chat-based, MSN, Yahoo Talk, informative, so blogs, Bing, Wikipedia, Google, and forums, virtual, like Habbo and World of Warcraft, and love-based, like dating websites and Tinder. So a huge variety of those you wouldn't necessarily expect to be under the social media label. There's actually 10 categories of social media, 
ranging from networking to online gaming. So how does this apply to dry cleaners? Well, most of, sort of dry cleaners traffic um, into your sites is based on location. But as that video showed us, um, consumers now don't trust um, businesses that don't have a social media presence. So it's becoming more and more important to make sure that your business is out there in the social media world. It creates personalization of your business. It's a gateway to the community and it creates communication. And also for yourself, it's a fantastic research facility to find out what your potential customers want from you. And it gives you a presence as well. So to give you a good example, Johnson's have a fantastic social media presence because they um, give tips, quizzes, fashion forward info, as well as being prompt at replying to people's comments and queries. Now, fast response to social media is key. If you're not going to commit to it, don't bother, because a comment out there that might be a complaint can actually be harmless if you can show that you have good service by replying promptly with knowledgeable info and it can be incredibly damaging if you just leave it because people can share it, they put their own views on there and if there's no response from your business then it looks like you've got bad customer service. So there are bad merits of social media but they all can be conquered. So as long as, you know, time consuming, yes it is, but if you check it first thing in the morning, on your lunch break, and at the end of the day, then you're, you're creating a fast response and seeing the input that's happening. And if a quick tweet can take two, 20 seconds. It's not as um, time consuming as you think. But as I said, make sure you commit or don't bother. This comment on a, a company's page was shared um, over 2,000 times and many people put their own experiences of bad service from this um, company. So they didn't respond. If they had, they could have avoided this situation. So what other options are there out there for you um, when it comes to marketing? Well, you've got EPOS systems, which are great for creating targeted, targeted offers, um, but they're more focused on the people that are your current customers. So the potentials, it lacks a bit of reach there. But you can create um, targeted marketing um, campaigns with them, like vouchers. So if a, if a gentleman came in and, and gave you a shirt every week, you could give him a, a monthly voucher from your EPOS system for um, a discounted suit or something. So you can create that business that way. The other thing is TSA. We've really um, focused on helping sort of the PR and marketing side for dry cleaners. So um, if you wanted to advertise in your local press, um, then we have a, a large database of the local newspapers over the country. And um, so we can put you in, um, in touch with the right person. And we've also created some posters which um, you can place in your windows. Um, you can see them in stand um, 33, just next to Speaker's Corner. Um, and they're a great way to catch the public's eye as they walk past. And they're a bit different from, from usual posters that you see in windows um, to try and give a bit of difference as well. Um, so, are there any questions? Do you have any particular queries that apply to you that, I could, that you'd like my advice on? No problem if not. <laughs> okay. okay. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, Julie.